Hello again, it's me Robert Johnston and I'm doing another day of Take Me To Your Leader Tuesday. Um, just a little bit of info. Um, this image ended up turning into the, uh, I didn't use this image last time, two weeks ago. I went with an alien um, selfie shot because this, this work became really problematic. So I thought to myself, I, last week I wasn't able to pull it together to get something done in time. So I thought about it and I said, hey, why don't I take what I have, throw it in a video, and work it over and see if I can't pull something out of it over time. So what I'm doing is you're going to see me build this thing out to a point and you know ultimately I wasn't happy with it that's why I didn't choose it but uh, I did my best you know just character designing brainstorming it up a little bit just trying to make something work and it just seemed it just didn't seem right to me you know for well for one the pose kind of looks kind of lame I'll have to work on it and um you know, I tried to combine the owl, the bird, the, uh, what do you call that, the lava lamps, and then that uh, stuffed animal into one creature, or an alien, as I like to call it. And, you know, I have fun doing this, and it's just an exploration you know I mean it's just you're trying something and it this one didn't work out this time but hey you know you gotta you gotta push through when when stuff's just not happening regardless so even if I ended up with something I wasn't happy with I still put in my time and uh, you know so, I once I figured out, I'm using Procreate, but once I figured out how to do the transform tools and everything, it really started to remind me a lot more of Photoshop. And I really like it a lot because of the, the finger gestures on the screen. Like, you could take two fingers or whatever it was, I think it's two, and you can make a selection around something and put your fingers on it and expand those out just a little bit and that enlarges whatever you selected so it's really pretty intuitive you know I mean once you learn it I had to uh, look over some videos K. Michael Russell videos he has a whole series of you know drawing in procreate and painting and all that stuff so I'm, I'm excited about learning it more um, I'm just happy I don't have to use Photoshop anymore. Well, because I have Affinity Photo as well. <clears throat> but I just kind of want to move away from Photoshop because of the subscription model and um, Clip Studio doesn't have a proper, like, like they have a... Uh, an iPad version but it's it's on subscription so I'm not I'm not down with that I'm not gonna do that and then art studio pro or Autodesk or those two programs though I think I think they're free for the iPad <clears throat> or at least Autodesk is I'm not sure about art art studio pro but I'm gonna check that one out you know later on I'm just gonna give uh, procreate a real shot before I jump into anything else <coughs> excuse me too much talking too much talking drives the throat out as you can tell I'll never be a singer or a public speaker so here I am trying to pull in some of the work some of the uh, stuffed animal and then I just 
kind of went off the rails a little bit and started doing my own thing, you know. This is where I was attempting to paint it, you know, lowering the opacity of the line work, going in over top, trying to uh, paint it up a little bit. I mean, even though I'm not happy with the way it looks, it looks kind of, it's just not something that I typically would uh, draw as an alien. I mean, it's got a smile on its face. It's uh, It's got a pudgy belly. It looks like a good guy. Um, it's got wings. Yeah, speaking of the wings, what made me, like, I, I, I was drawn to that photo of that bird, and it made me think of um, that old school cartoon called Battle of the Planets. Some of you might know what that was, but you could search it out on, on um, YouTube. That was a pretty dope show back in the day. I used to run home from school to try to watch it on TV. And, and I didn't. I was never able to watch it live because I was I was uh, too young. But uh, I, they were playing the reruns, so that's how I was able to get turned on to. The, I think it was in. Jeez, I can't remember. That cartoon came in the the seventies. Was it was it seventy two or in between seventy two and seventy five or seventy eight? Not certain, but it was originally called uh, uh, Science Team Ninja something or other from Japan. And America got a hold of it and redubbed it and retooled it. But I ended up buying all the other stuff on DVD just to check it out. And, you know, I'm a super fan. So I'm going to quit rambling about nonsense and start talking about this art so as you can see i'm trying to pull in some more shadows <clears throat> i'm taking it to a point and uh where i leave it like i said i'm not happy with it i'm gonna continue on uh with a with a part two of the, to this video and to try to fix it i'm gonna try to do something else to it i'm gonna try to give it a different pose maybe something more dynamic I'm going to try to work it out. You know, I watch a lot of Bordante videos and uh, he's always doing these over paints. And, and I just think that's so great, you know, to you learn a lot. You learn a lot by watching those videos. And uh, I thought to myself, hey, I could do a two parter on this one. No one's stopping me. I can do it. And if it turns into a three-parter, well, I mean, I guess that, that'll determine itself on the next video for this one. But I plan on correcting what I think needs to be corrected, going over it again. I might even repaint the whole darn thing again. It just depends because I think maybe it's the pose that needs to be reworked. I don't know. But I just need something more. You know, but all in all, here it is, the next entry in my uh, Take Me To You Later Tuesday, and to be continued. All right, we'll continue this on the next time where I will hopefully make something better of this. Hopefully. All right. Peace out. Have a great uh, Wednesday and onward. And I'll talk to you the next one. All right. Later. Take me to your leader Tuesday. Created by Marshall Lee and Scott Circlin. And go to Marshall's website, donkeyjobprojects.com. And go to Scott's website, cirqueworks.com. And on social media, follow hashtag take me to your leader Tuesday and hashtag TMTYLT.